Hi everyone. I thought I would do another video on the Steadicam Merlin 2. And today I'd like to talk a little bit about the drop time. Now I've been kind of experimenting a little bit with it and what I'm finding is even though the documentation for the Merlin 2 talks a little bit about um, you know the drop time and of course in there they say that one second is what you should be aiming for or that's what they refer to but what I'm finding is through my own experimentation that it's actually better to have it maybe more like one and a half to just to just under two seconds I'm thinking that um, just from my own testing and uh, I've seen much better results by having a, a longer drop time than what they recommend in the documentation it's not by much like I said you know around one and a half 1.8 seconds maybe um, but anyway, uh, I have some sample footage that I've done using a longer drop time. The drop time, I believe, is around 1.8 seconds or so here. So uh, let's check it out. So here I'm just sort of walking down a straight uh, dirt path and uh, off to a good start. And uh, so far it looks like it's holding up pretty good. Here it gets a little more challenging because we're going through some turns right now. So this will be a good test. Here I'm just doing sort of a little circling maneuver here as I approach the tree and then I'm just kind of backing away from it. Here I thought I'd do a little circling maneuver.
Here I thought I'd try a forward and then backward maneuver. And of course, no test to be complete without doing some stairs. So let's go ahead and try that. I can definitely say that um, making the drop time longer seemed to make the process easier when I was out doing that test footage, but overall I was really pleased with the result. So I'm definitely recommending um, going with one and a half, you know, between one and a half to two seconds on the drop time. Now, right now here I've got the um, Canon 5D Mark III and the uh, Rokinon lens up here and everything is perfectly balanced. What's different this time though is the drop time. If we go ahead and measure it, is about one, about 1 1.8 seconds. Try that again. Yeah, so here I've got it about 1.8 seconds and it really does seem to make a difference, you know, at least I feel it does based on what I'm seeing in the test footage because before when I was using the drop time of around a second, it just seemed like the footage was too um, boaty, you know what I mean? It would be, uh, it was too bottom heavy and you'd get a lot of swaying back and forth. But I'm noticing now that I'm not seeing as much of that. So. Uh, yeah, definitely. I don't know why they recommended that one second drop time in their documentation, but I definitely think you need to push it up. Um, not a heck of a lot. You know, I think, like I said, I'm using about 1.8 seconds here. So that's all you really need. But anyway, I hope this uh, tip was useful and uh, we'll catch you on the next video.